What's the comfort? Oh, it's all comfort, Sam. It's good. It's good indeed. Lord Angelo, having affairs to heaven, intends you for his swift ambassador, where you shall be an everlasting leader. Therefore, your best appointment may be speed. Tomorrow, you set on. Is there an event? None. But such a remedy as to save a head, to cleave a heart in twain. But is there any? Yes, brother, you may live. There is a devilish mercy in the judge, if you'll implore it, that will free your life, but fetter you till death. Perpetual durance? I just, perpetual durance. A restraint, though all the world's vestidity you had to a determined scope. But in what nature? In such a nature as you consenting to it would bark your honour from that trunk you bear and leave you naked. No point. Why do you fear thee, Claudio? And I quake, lest thou a feverous life shouldst entertain, and six or seven winters more respect than a perpetual honour. Dost thou die? sense of death is most in apprehension. The poor beetle we tread upon in corporal sufferance finds a pang as great as when a giant dies. What give you me this shame? Think you I can a resolution fetch from flowery tenderness? I must die. I will encounter darkness as a bride and hug it in mine arms. There spake my brother. There my father's grave did utter forth a voice. Yes, thou must die. Thou art too noble to conserve a life in base appliances. This outward saint a deputy, whose settled visage and deliberate word nips youth in the head and follies doth anew as a falcon, doth the fowl, is yet a devil. His filth within being cast, he would appear a pond as deep as hell. The precise angel. Oh, tis the cunning livery of hell. Dost thou think, Claudio, if I would yield him my virginity, thou mightst be freed? Yet it cannot be. Yes. He would free you from his rank offence, so to offend him still. This night's the time I should do what I abhor to name. Or else thou diest tomorrow. I shall not do it. Oh, were it but my life. I would throw it down for your deliverance as frankly as a pin. Be ready, Claudio, for death. Tomorrow. Yes. Has he not affections in him that can thus make him bite the law upon the nose when he would force it? Sure it is no sin, or of the deadly seven it is the least. <coughs> Which is the least? If it were so damnable. <coughs> He being so wise, why would he for the momentary trick be perturbably fine? Oh, oh, saves my brother! It's a fearful thing! A shame and life are hateful! I was dying, go we know nowhere! So long in cold obstruction and rot! This sensible, warm motion to become a kneaded clod, and the delighted spirit to bath in fiery floods, or to reside in thrilling region of thick ribbed ice, to be imprisoned in viewless winds, and blown with restless violence round about the pendant world, or to be worse than worse, that those with lawless and uncertain thought, imagine howling, it is too horrible, the weariest, and most loathed worldly life that age, ache, 
penury and imprisonment can lay upon the world is a nature, a paradise for what we fear. Alas, alas, sweet sister, let me live. What sin you do to save a brother's life, nature dispenses with the deeds so far that it becomes a virtue. Oh, you beast! Oh, faithless coward! Oh, dishonest wretch! Will thou be made a man out of my vice? Is it not a kind of sin to take life from thy own sister's shame? Or what should I think? Heaven's shield! My mother played my father fair for such a warped slip of wilderness net issued from his blood. Take my defiance! Die! Perish! My foot, my bending down, reprieve thee. I'll pray a thousand prayers for thy death. No word to save thee! You may hear me as a Oh, fie! 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 Thy sin is not accidental, but a trade. Mercy to thee would prove itself aboard. Tis best thou diest quickly. Oh, hear me, Isabella! 